I bet you, you don't need a 50 Ghana CD charge on an electric vehicle to get it moving. <laughs> Hello, I'm Leslie Arthur and this is Energy Quest. So in the past few years, you've enjoyed our talk show on TV and online. But in this special season, you're going to watch us on this platform only online. So subscribe to this channel and enjoy subsequent episodes of the Energy Quest talk show. So in this episode, we're going to talk about business opportunity. This is actually a three part series of different sectors of the energy industry. In this one, we're going to talk about electric vehicles. Isn't that exciting? For most people in Africa, well, in Ghana as well, EVs are far-fetched. They are not coming in now. It's probably something for the very wealthy man sitting somewhere who is just going to drive an EV alone and you know, but I'm here to tell you it's basic. Look, there's so many opportunities there beyond us driving those cars ourselves. Well, yes, there are challenges. I mean, looking at that part of the world, but note that some of these challenges are seen everywhere else that EVs are dominant now. A major one, I'd say, is driver anxieties, you know. Let's pick on charging anxiety. It's a big deal. If I buy an EV car, where am I going to charge that car? Well, once we have the industry taken off, don't worry about that. I'll say there are already lots of EV recharge points around, but that's a business opportunity, isn't it? Good, you could consider it yourself. Who are you waiting for to start it? If we do it together, we are definitely get in there. So let's bounce right in and look at various opportunities that the electric vehicle industry can bring us right here in Ghana and in Africa. So first I'd look at charging stations. Already we have oil and gas stations, don't we? Yes. What about getting some charger points in these stations? Some oil marketing companies already started. Do you want to join in? Consider it. It's a business opportunity, okay? So moving from charger stations, we can also talk about various business that can accompany these charger stations. We have something out there in the West they call charge and chill. Okay, so right there where an electric vehicle will be charging, you can set up that pub over there. There can be that cafe over there where I can have a drink while I wait for my car to charge. You go for meetings and pack your car and it just sits in the sun, doesn't it? Pack your car where the cafe is and have the meeting at the cafe while the car charges. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that not such a great idea? You're managing time, you're getting your car on the road. After the meeting, easy to go. There are lots of companies in Ghana selling cars, okay? So these companies can consider bringing in electric vehicles or as a new business venture, you can import EV cars. If others are charging, you can sell the cars. There are lots of basic ones that the everyday person can consider. And yes, it's going to save us fuel. So why not get an electric vehicle? You can charge it with just a few tens of cities. I bet you, you don't need a 50 Ghana city charge on an electric vehicle to get it moving for lots and lots of kilometers. How many kilometers can your car go with 50 Ghana cities? You know the answer. Another thing we can look at are rentals car rental companies. What do you think about getting an EV car to rent? That saves a lot. And yes, people will consider you over the other cars because for a regular car rental, you, you rent a car for a day, you should fill the tank before sending it back. What do you do with an EV? You can charge it or it goes right back and the rental company charges it at very minimal cost. So yes, that's a great business opportunity to look at. Let's also look at opportunities of career, okay? Once these EV cars are in Ghana, why won't these young our, our youth be trained in various aspects of operating these? How are these cars going to be serviced? Somebody's got to be trained, yes. At Energy Quest, we are going to contribute our quota to this industry in most amazing ways. I'll tell you about it in another episode, and I bet you will be excited. So join me 
in the next episode on Energy Quest. So, for lots of interesting snippets on the energy sector, you should follow all our platforms, our social media platforms, and subscribe right here on this channel. Thank you.